As you may know, it's my job to corrupt young people with the contagious, infectious idea of individual freedom. It's my job to encourage you to think for yourself, question authority. You should know that as an American, you have the right to express your opinion. You have the right to assemble peacefully. And you have the right to petition government to change things if you think they've gone wrong. The courts have long held that free speech can be limited in rare circumstances. We can't yell fire in a crowded theater if there is no fire because it would endanger public safety. People might be trampled in the chaos. The First Amendment has done just fine with that limit. Ultimately, the right to free speech is the right to be an asshole. And what makes this country great is assholes. The culture we live in today was born into a society where you could take your individual rights and civil liberties for granted. So they don't understand what the country would be like without the First Amendment because they haven't experienced it. And to them, it's just legal jargon. You know? They take all of their freedoms for granted that they're going to have them and it's never going to end. Well, free but speech is a <clears throat> great idea, but we're in a war. Fuck you! There is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. And no official of my administration should interpret my words here tonight as an excuse to censor the news, to stifle dissent, to cover up our mistakes, or to withhold from the press and the public the facts they deserve to know. You can't handle the truth! Any reality is an opinion. You make up your own reality. Think for yourself.